Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share a recipe with you. Uh, this is one of my absolute favourites and it's a different take on a chocolate cake. Now last spring uh, was the lockdown obviously um, and it was really difficult to get hold of any flour. So what I, what I had to do was just make do with whatever I had in my store cupboard, uh, which was things like besan flour, chickpea flour, um, ground almonds um, and also polenta flour. Um, now I've made this recipe a few different times um, using slightly different uh, justifications of uh, slightly different adjustments of the different flowers and they all turned out really really delicious. Um, so in here I have 75 grams of cocoa powder 200 grams of polenta flour, 25 grams of chickpea flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and half a teaspoon of fine, uh, fine salt. Now, if I just adjust it there, those are the dry ingredients. Now in here, I have got 175 grams of extra virgin olive oil, but you can use sunflower oil or any other kind of oil. Um, 175 grams, or sorry, I should say 175 ml of milk, whole milk, 175 ml of extra virgin olive oil or another oil of your choice. And this recipe calls for two large uh, free range eggs and I've got about three small ones in here so what I'm going to do so I don't know if you can see I'm going to whisk it all together oops okay oh what I should do is also put the oven on preheat the oven. So I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark four. Um, and the other ingredients I forgot to tell you about is this here. Um, that is the sugar. Um, the, this recipe calls for 300 grams of caster sugar. But what I like to use instead is uh, molasses sugar. And I generally use about a third less than the rest of what the recipe calls for. So in here I've got 200 grams of um, molasses sugar and the rest of the 100 grams is made up of dr chopped dried dates. And this gives the cake a really, really lovely, lovely moisture. Now what I did here was sift all the dry ingredients so that, I've got a, um, that, so that they're all well mixed. I've made a well in the middle. And now what I'll do is pour the wet ingredients, which is the eggs, the oil and the milk into the middle there. And just mix that in. What I'll also do is to mix in the sugar and the dates. Just mix it up thoroughly. So this is all now nicely mixed. And to that, I'm going to add 150 ml of just boiled water. Um, now I've tried making this recipe without the boiled water and it turns out absolutely fine but adding the water just makes it that extra bit moist and delicious when you come to bite into it. So, just gonna mix that up before we transfer it into my baking tray. By the way, 
If you like this recipe and you think you might give it a try and you love chocolate cake as much as I do, then please like my video. It will help the mothership to find me. I mean, the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm to pick up my channel. Thank you. So here I have my baking tray. Now let's see, it's a little bit tricky. So I've put it all in now, I'm going, it's ready for the oven and you bake it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and from experience this does actually need the full 30 minutes but do check it after 25. So here you go, here is the chocolate cake, all lovely baked and moist. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be kind to yourself and others. Bye.